this a quick tutorial on how you can take your uh, Google Gmail calendar and you can sync it to the app You Can Book Me. Um, now, why do we want to do this? It basically, um, while with your Google Calendar you can share that online, it isn't so easy to actually do bookings through that interface, uh, particularly for one calendar or another. So let's uh, go quickly through how this works. Now, the nice thing with both these applications, of course, are they're free. Um, so in my calendars, if you want to create a booking calendar that is separate from your other calendars, you can create a new calendar. Uh, in this case, we've got one here. Um, some folks have also asked, well, how do I get to other embed codes for my Google Calendar? So I'm just going to show you that real quickly, um, although you don't necessarily need that to interface it with um, You Can Book Me. But I've clicked the um, Share Details, then I go into Calendar Details, and this is where you're going to find your embed code and all that kind of good stuff. But the nice thing with the You Can Book Me interface is it really doesn't even need that. Um, so let's hop over there. So I've gone to You Book You Can Book Me dot um, dot me, uh, and I've logged in. And what we want to do is the first time you go in, you're going to create a profile, and you're going to do that by creating an account, and you're going to give it your Gmail account. And the first time you give your Gmail account, um, in the event that you have a number of, of different email accounts or different calendars, it's actually going to ask you that. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Um, I have a number of different calendars that I run um, based on my different businesses. Um, so we can see here, this is what you're going to see when you log in. It's going to show you, hey, here's all the calendars that you have. Which one do you want to sync with this booking calendar? So you choose the one that you want. Um, you give your calendar a URL at youcanbookme.com. You can throw a logo in there. You can give it a name, and you can um, put a little message at the top. So let's just scroll down because it's going to do a live preview. And here's my little message. And the nice thing with this app is it's just going to show the times that I'm available. It doesn't show you what's going on while I'm booked. Um, and this way I can share this and embed this calendar into a website. I can put a link on my emails. It's a great way to allow clients for a number of uh, different contracts or organizations to go in and book. Um, so I'm going to do a few more tutorials just talking about the You Can Book Me app um, and how you set up your booking form. But basically it's pretty intuitive. You can go in here, um, set the length of time, so whether you want 15 minutes, half hour, hour, um, multi-hour appointments offered to clients, and some of the rules around um, what happens when they get booked. So again, this actually it's a pretty slick little uh, combination of two free and fairly robust apps. Um, once you have made your calendar, um, you can go back in and actually go in and share that. And we can manage our booking. So we go down to share. And here it'll give you um, your links to your calendar. So you can share it as a link. Uh, if you want the embed code, you click uh, the embed code and it'll give you the code that you need to stick it in a calendar page. So, I'm sorry, in a web page. Pretty intuitive, pretty easy. So I realize I've moved through this quickly, but that's the way I roll with my tutorials. Uh, no fuss, no muss. I'm just going to give you the basics. Um, so in the tutorial after this, we'll talk about how you can customize the look and feel of the calendar, as well as the booking time and some of that other fun stuff. But this is basically how you set the darn thing up. Hopefully that's been helpful.